Your legs have carried you your whole life and usually with stamina, but now they just seem tired, they're achy all the time, discolored and unable to make it through the day. For many people, this goes unchecked for years, but it's time to take a deeper look. Dr. Jason Roberts, Technical Director of Non-Invasive Vascular Services, is with First Coast Cardiovascular Institute and is here to tell us more about a disease called chronic venous insufficiency. C I got the name right, but C I got it. Right. It's, it's, it's a big word. It's a big CBI, word. CBI, which affects roughly 25 million Yeesh. Americans. So tell us what CVI is. All about. Um, really, all it is, it's a big word for varicose veins. Um, generally, what happens is uh, we have one way valves or little gates inside the veins, and typically they open and close and propel blood back to the heart in a normal patient. Or uh, what happens is when these little valves or gates uh, are bad, the blood actually falls back down into the leg and pools and causes a, a medical condition we call stasis. And it's the stasis that actually um, can cause a whole array of other medical issues such as um, chronic swelling, uh, uh, hardening of the skin is what we call lipodermosclerosis, um, and in some instances, blood clots, DVTs, and end results, it could also be um, ulcers as well. So um, it's actually a pretty prevalent disease as well. Uh, roughly 5% of the U.S. population has it, or, or about 25 million Americans have it as well. Um, and of that 25 million, 500,000 people are actually walking around with ulcers or sores on their legs as well. Um, and in my opinion, to have that many people walking around with, with that type of condition when there's so many treatment options available, is um, it's problematic. You don't have to deal with the pain and the, and the dangers of, of what may happen if you don't get treatment. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you 100%. So what are some of the causes? Is it people that are on their feet all the time, postal workers and, and that um, Generally guys like you who work out all the time. <laughs> <laughs> he does too. He works out all Thank the time. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> I'm, or, taking up, like I, I'm taking up figure skating. I'm going to skate with Kimmy a little later on. Um, you know, there's a wide range of um, uh, issues that, that we see. Um, people who are tall like myself, age is a factor, pregnancy, um, women uh, with progesterone uh, issues. Um, so it could be issues. hormonal. It, it, well. it is hormonal. Okay. Hormonal can be, yes, correct. Okay. Um, people who've had blood clots in the past as well. And what are some of the symptoms? What do you, 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 obviously fatigue or soreness, and you said there's right. some coloring. All those, uh, fatigue and soreness is one of the biggest ones. Um, swelling, um, like I said, typically, what ha this is a chronic process, so this uh -huh. happens over years. Okay. So it's not something that you wake up one morning and all of a sudden Everything's you have it. Everything's changed. It and... just comes on gradually, and you adapt to it, honestly. Um, I think some of the first signs and symptoms you'll see are pretty much is that a swelling of the leg maybe some broken veins on the skin surfaces, varicose yeah, veins. Yeah, yeah, those are not so pretty. Um, and as you them. can see in those slides <laughs> right there, you can see the discoloration. It's like a, it's a brownish red color as well. Um, a little bit more advanced stages that we're seeing. That's more, yeah. those are okay. end stages. But people live with this brown and red for many, many years. Mm -hmm. So that's just something they just, it's, oh, it's just the color of my legs. It's just what happens. When you get older, um, yeah. As you get older. And then the end result, of course, is a sore. So like I said, if, if you get to that end stage, which is an ulcer, it's, you know, it's probably yeah. So if we start noticing these things or we're feeling the pain and we're wondering, is this something, what, what kind of testing do you do and how do you find out if this is the problem? <clears throat> um, for this type of testing, this is a very, you, we basically do a very specialized testing in our lab. Um, it's an ultrasound that's solely dedicated to the veins of the lower extremities. So basically what we do is we take a detailed um, a blueprint of all the veins in the lower limbs and from that we actually devise uh, a plan to actually treat and address this issue. Um, but just one thing I want to say about that is if you do have this type of testing, you want to make sure that you're seeing uh, in individual labs that, have, that are credentialed in vascular medicine, the physicians are vascular professionals, and so are the technologists. You want to go to a vascular facility to address this issue. Mm. Yeah, and then treatment options, how, how, how long does it take to treat something like this? Or? Um, depending on the issue, I mean, always conservative therapy is the first step, mm -hmm. and, which means is compression stockings. We like to get people fitted with compression stockings. I mean, unfortunately, it's hot in South Florida, yeah. and, you know, women don't want to wear these. No. You know, let me ask you real quick. Preventative, can you do that for preventative if you're, you know, like Absolutely. I see people yeah, wearing sure. them on Absolutely. the plane and whatnot. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. If you see them wearing on the plane, it may be for something different. Okay. But if you're going to be on your feet all day long, have them made. I, you know, they make them a little more stylish, so it's not kind of like something maybe your grandma had 20 years ago. So they do make them a little uh, 
more uh, yeah. specific for these things. Yeah, okay, and that's one of the treatment options. That's, that's one more of, of the conservative right. approach, but are correct, there other correct. things you could do? Um, after that, if that's a fail therapy and we figure that, you know, we, this isn't going to treat this, uh, the issue, we can, uh, there are several different techniques. We can either do a radio frequency ablation, uh, a laser ablation, and basically what this is, the small little wire we run inside of the vein, mm -hmm. we heat the vein up and close it. Um, it's over 96 or 97 percent effective um, and you can see on that slide right there is what it basically looks like. Um, we can also use chemicals to close the veins such as sclerotherapy. I'm sure that's a word many many people have heard before. Um, in extreme cases we have to bring them, we have our own freestanding cath lab so in extreme cases of individuals who've had blood clots or DVT we have to take, run a little dye, shoot a little dye into the vein, take a look um, and possibly do an angioplasty that's opening the vein up with the balloon and possibly stenting. This is, this is a case where an individual has had um, blood clot before and this is causing the problem of the lower extremities. Once we open up that vein, get the blood pushing back through, it may alleviate everything. And this could be a reason why as well people have had, had failed treatments in the past because they have undiagnosed um, DVT or something like so that. So somebody, if somebody is sitting at home right now and they're noticing, you know, like they get up in the morning and they're getting knee mm -hmm. pain or, mm -hmm. you know, ankle pain or anything like that, what, should they just call you? I mean, is, it, is there a certain extent to Absolutely. where they should? If you should... have any of the symptoms, signs or symptoms that you've seen today, or if you've even had treatment before and you don't just don't feel like you've actually got out of it what you thought you were going to get out of it. You're still having swelling. You're still having pain in your limbs or in your legs. Um, absolutely. I mean, we take consults all day long, second, third opinions. Mm -hmm. um, and generally, I think that's where we really excel at, at First Coast Cardiovascular Institute is that we, um, we address the clinical side of it, not so much the cosmetic. I mean, cosmetics is one thing. Mm -hmm. um, the clinical aspect is, is quite another. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank we you. appreciate you, Good Dr. Stuff, Roberts, for being here. We thank also you. appreciate First Coast Cardiovascular Institute, of course, for sponsoring this segment. And remember, they say to know your body, know your risk factors, and work with your doctors to address them. If you want more information about CVI from First Coast Cardiovascular Institute, just visit firstcoastcardio.com or call them at 904-493-3333. And still to come, we're very excited. Olympic ice skater Kimmy Meisner is here, and we're going to find out where you can meet her and see her perform. But first, how you can join a walk that will help put an end to the number one killer of Americans. That is next, and we'll be right back.